All right, so namaste from Mumbai and I am Dr. Gaurang and I am going to talk to you today about a very important health related issues in female and that is fibroadenoma in the breast. One of the most commonest uh, health related issues in women between the age of 15 and 45. And almost in different parts of cities in India and different parts of the world, one of the commonest suggestions is to do surgery. However, <clears throat> especially in benign cases, homeopathy and lifestyle changes is a very good option uh, for so many patients and we have treated successfully many cases like that with homeopathy and homeopaths across the globe have treated actually. I am going to talk to you about how do we treat such kind of cases and what are the commonest comparative material medical that I want you to remember. Before I really talk about comparative material medical, I want to tell you that the secret of homeopathic result is individualization. You still in every case have to go in depth. You still in every case have to go into the deepest mind state, into the physical generals, into the past history, into the family history, go in depth in the crisis situation, understand the totality in detail, form the portrait of the disease and then the find a remedy for the patient. However, in some cases, we may not be able to do that. And that's where you need to understand comparative material medica as well or organ specific remedies as well. That's what I'm going to talk to you about. The number one remedy which I use a lot. The remedy scrofularia area nodosa. Very, very beautiful remedy this. It belongs to the scrofulaceae family. <clears throat> Very important for neurocities in breast, small, small benign tumors, enlargement in the breast. Very often, these tumors are ailments from grief. A little bit like Ignatia. In Ignatia, you see this ailments from grief causing such kind of state. But you also see that in scrofularia nodosa. The concomitant in scrofularia nodosa is very painful hemorrhoids. If you see painful hemorrhoids along with this, you would want to remember this as a very important remedy. But in scrofularia nodosa, the biggest experience for the patient is they feel that I feel totally scattered. I feel totally broken apart. That's a very important experience for scrofularia nodosa. <clears throat> Let's go to the next remedy. And there are many remedies here. One of the top remedies is the remedy cystus canadensis. It is known as the chilliest remedy in homeopathy, cystus canadensis. And remember, the fibroadenoma of cystus is very hard, like conan, like calcarea floricum. Cystus, when they breathe, they feel a lot of coldness inside. That's why it's a very important remedy for cough. Very important remedy for cough. If you open nail repertory and if you see agitation, causes cough, single remedy you will see, cystus canadensis. Read herring guiding symptoms to understand this a little bit more. So heart tumors with this situation, think about cystus canadensis. The next remedy, and there are so many remedies, but one of my favorite remedies is the remedy, the great nozor, serenum, hard nodosities, very hard nodosities. But the secret is, and remember, it's a carcinosin compound. It's more deeper than, than carcinosin, especially in this kind of tumors of the breast. Every serenum will have a history of a lot of worms, parasitic worms in the past, and a lot of sensation of hollowness in the abdomen, like a sinking sensation in the abdomen. Serenum, ladies and gentlemen. So many interesting remedies. In some tumors, and you, when you examine that, <clears throat> they can be very, very soft. They are easily kind of uh, movable. In such kind of ones, you want to think about the remedy. The remedy, lapis alba, that is the calcareo silico fluoride. In these cases, the patient will have fears of calcarea, the timidity of silica, and the very hotness and warmth and materialism 
of fluorine. So lapis alba, soft fibroadenoma. Very, very interesting remedy for that. Many more remedies. I can I can go on with many, many more remedies. Um, the typical remedy, the calcarea fluor, barita iod, plumbum iod. These are all very important remedies. In this, you will see the state of calcarea and fluor, the barita and iod state, plumbum and iod state. Plumbum iod is a very important remedy. Very beautifully useful. Typically, when you see the state of plumbum and iodine in a case. One of the lesser known remedies which we normally don't think about is the remedy thyroid in You want to use it in a little lower potency, especially in cases where there is a too much of hormonal changes, uh, especially in cases where there is PCOD and thyroid and this kind of fibroadenoma. Very often thyroidinum will be very useful. Thyroidinum, very chilly patient, craving for a lot of sweets, a lot of agitation, violence, anger, desire to kill before the menses. You would see that. Thyroid in a patient when you touch their hands, palms, very sweaty. So there's a lot of material medical, close to so many more remedies, okay? There is graphitis also, which is a very important remedy for fibro or, you know, breast and so many more. But these are the main ones. My idea to make this video is just to inspire you as a patient, as a homeopath, to know that this is all possibly treatable with lifestyle changes and homeopathy. So, Please join us. We have started a course in homeopathy in female disorder. And if you need our help for consultation, you can write on the below email ID, goran.fg at the rate gmail.com. Thank you so much.